Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to solve examples on intro to statistics. We are going to understand some basic terms. So some of the big objectives of this video are to identify population, sample, parameter, statistics, and variable, classify data as qualitative and quantitative, classify the quantitative data as discrete and continuous, understand the or identify the sampling technique, classify data according to the level of measurement, recognize experimental unit, explanatory variable, treatment variable, and response variable. Okay, let's begin with first example. In a survey of 100 stocks on NASDAQ, the average percentage or average percent increase for the past year was 9% for NASDAQ stocks. Now we need to answer these questions. The first one is the average increase for all NASDAQ stocks is, so we are talking about average increase on all. That is, we are talking about the mean of everything, mean of the population. So that is the parameter. Next, all NASDAQ stocks are, all NASDAQ stocks, everything, that is your population. Next is 9% is 9% increase on these 100 stocks or on the sample. Meaning of that is 9% is statistic because it is related to sample. The 100 NASDAQ stocks in the survey are because out of all NASDAQ stocks, we take 100. So that must be the sample size or you can say that is the sample. And the last one here, the percentage increase for one stock in the survey is, so here we are talking about the increment at individual level. Whenever we are talking about the data associated with the individual or the particular item in the sample or in the population, which is just related to that particular only, that is the variable. So the percentage increase for one stock in the survey is a variable. Example two, classify the variable as quantitative or qualitative. So here the variables are given. We have to classify as quantitative or qualitative. The first one, nation of origin, it does not involve any number. So that must be qualitative or categorical. Next, number of siblings, it involves pure number. So this must be quantitative. Third one, grams of carbohydrate in a donut. Here we are talking about number like 500 gram or 700 gram. So it involves pure number. So that is quantitative. Next, number on football players jersey. Although we see number there, it does not represent anything to add, subtract, multiply or divide. This is just the categorical. So this must be qualitative. Next, Number of unpopped kernels in a bag of microwave oven. Here we are talking about number, how many are there? So this is quantitative. Next one, assist value of a house. It will be certain dollar. So it's going to be a pure number, meaning of that is this is quantitative. Next is phone number. Although phone number involves the number, but these are num not the numbers which can be added, subtracted, multiplied or divide. So these numbers does not represent the real number. Meaning of that is a phone number is qualitative. Last one in this example, student ID number. Again, student ID number, although you see number there, these numbers cannot be added, subtracted, multiplied or divide. So the student ID number is qualitative. So in this example, you need to understand that when we talk about qualitative, these are numerical or they involve pure number and the qualitative are non-numerical or categorical. Or they do not involve any pure numbers. Example three, here we want to determine whether the qualitative variables which are given here are discrete or they are continuous. When we say discrete, they just take the whole numbers. 
but when we say continuous they can take if they can even take fractions and decimals okay the first one is goals score in a season by a soccer player it can be one it can be two it can be three it can be four it will just be a whole number so that is discrete b volume of water lost each day through a leaky fault that is when you're talking about volume here it can be 5 liter 5.1 5.2 5.3 it can take all decimal values also that means this one represents continuous variable length of song in minutes if you think of the length of song it can sometimes be 4.1 minute it can be 4.7 minute it is not something like this is four minute or five minute or six minute it can even take the decimal values meaning of that is the length of song represents continuous variable number of trees randomly selected at yellowstone national park if we select a number of trees that will be like seven or ten or fifteen or seventeen it will be a whole number that is the discrete variable high temperature on a randomly selected day in aurora colorado when we think of temperature it can be 87.5 87.8 it can take decimal values also so this one must be continuous variable last one in this example points scored in an ncaa basketball game so the point is scored here will be a whole number only not a decimal meaning of that is this is the discrete variable now example four a health club is interested in knowing how many times a typical member uses the club in a week they decide to ask every 10th customer they decide to ask every 10th customer on a special day to complete a short survey including information about how many times they have visited the club in the past now we need to answer these two questions the first one is what kind of sampling design is this you can see that they are selecting every 10th customer so if they are selecting every kth customer or every kth element then that type of sampling is called the systematic sampling so the sampling design that they are using here is systematic sampling number of visits per week so when we think of number of visits per week maybe that will be two maybe three so it will be a whole number so this is definitely a quantitative data which is discrete now example five the u.s federal government conducts a survey of high school seniors concerning their plan for future education and employment one question asks whether they are planning to attend a four-year college or university in the following year 50 percent here is the information 50 percent answer yes to this question that 50 percent is so out of the sample of students 50 percent are saying yes so that 50 percent is related to the sample so that must be or that is the information about the sample okay so that must be statistic next one imagine that u.s federal government has had the means to survey all high school seniors in the u.s concerning their plan for future education and employment and found that 50 percent were planning to attend four years college or university in the following year so you can see 50 percent of all high school students because this is related to all high school students and we are talking about 50 percent of them were planning to attend the four-year college or university in the following year so this 50 percent is related to the entire population so this 50 percent is an example of parameter example six for the following variable we have to determine the level of measurement when we say level of measurement we want to identify the variable as nominal ordinal ratio or interval so gender it does not involve any number or anything so that is nominal 
temperature temperature has number but zero is not a true zero meaning of that is temperature is interval c number of days during past week that a college student studied number of days so it can be four five six seven and then these are zero makes sense here and the ratio is also well defined or in other word this involve a pure number meaning of that is this is a ratio later grade on in your stat class it's a rank but the difference does not make any sense meaning of that is this is ordinal nation of origin it does not involve any number so that must be nominal next is movie rating of one star through five star so it's a rank and the difference does not make any sense so that must be ordinal volume of water used by household in a day is a pure number zero has some meaning ratio is defined so the volume of water used by household in a day is an example of a ratio year of birth of a college student like 1978 1963 so this one is a number but it is a time so that must be interval next we have highest degree conferred like high school bachelor degree master degree and so on so this is just like the grade so that must be ordinal eye color it does not involve any number it's purely categorical so this must be nominal assist value of house is a pure number so that must be ratio and the last one time of day measured in military time here we are talking about time like here the year of birth of a college student this is also a time so that must be interval okay now example seven let's see what is here in the problem a psychologist is interested in whether the size of tableware like balls plate etc influences how much college student eat he randomly assigned 100 college student to one of the two groups the first group is served a meal using normal size table where nothing is changed there while the second is served the same meal but using a tableware that is 20 percent smaller than the normal so here the researcher is manipulating the variable he is reducing the tableware size by 20 percent he record how much food is consumed by each group now we need to identify these these things population sample experimental unit explanatory variable treatment variable and response variable the first one is population definitely the population is entire college student so all college students is the population in b we need to identify the sample here you can see he randomly assigned 100 college student to one of the two groups that means 100 college students selected out of all college student that is your sample next is the experimental unit definitely the experimental units are the student who participated in this process the next one is the explanatory variable the variable that is being manipulated here the size of tableware is manipulated so the experimental or i mean the explanatory variable are the size of tableware and what is the treatment here or the treatment group you can see that the tableware size is reduced by 20 20 percent so the tableware which are 20 percent is smaller that is the treatment group the last one is the response variable that is something the researchers is studying that is how much food or the amount of food eaten that is your response variable okay that is the last example for this video so in this video this is what we have done we learned to identify population sample parameter statistic and variable we learned to classify data as qualitative and quantitative we learn to classify the quantitative data as discrete and continuous. We learn about the sampling technique or we learn to identify the sampling technique. We learn to classify 
the data according to level of measurement. We also, or we are also able to recognize the experimental unit, explanatory variable, treatment variable, and response variable for one of the study called the experimental study. Okay, that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching.